okay, mister? Please. I've been bitten by a snake. I need medicine. Drink this. It'll help. Is that medicine? Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. I owe you one, mister. Got that right. Hopefully, I could repay you someday. Uh, now, I gotta get out of here. Uh, don't uh, much like it. Uh, uh, out here. No more. Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. My it's mic the is in now. Is. This is the thing. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. <laughs> Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. <laughs> so I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sock. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Sorry to keep on plugging and plugging it's in my Ma mic. Margaret, not Madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. You fuck danger. What the fuck's wrong with you? Let's get away from this guy, horse. He 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 fucks danger. We don't want to mess with a guy that fucks okay, danger. Hey, back up! Stay <laughs> Hey, 
There we go. You search that and I'll toss this. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. <sighs> Let's get it. Get off our land. Go on. Get. Don't worry. I'm just playing with you. Run along then. This thing is really scared them. Their heads are all big. Now. Leo. Hello, Mister. Nice round here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Well. Good luck to you. Bye bye. They don't want to leave. We can go home. Hello, sir. If you can't treat people with respect, what's the point? I say. I know. 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 I We are scuppered this time. Properly scuppered. The land up ahead got bought out from under us and we can't finish the track. Yeah, they won't admit it, but I just know this is old Leviticus Cornwall's doing. It has to be. Would you, uh, talk to them for me? I'll pay you well, I promise. Cornwall, you say? All right, I'll talk to them. But it may take a little... convincing. You do whatever you need to do. Hello, sirs. I'm here to fuck you up if you don't stop being dickheads. Hey you, what are you doing here? This is private property, you're, you're trespassing. Well, the boys at the railroad camp, they don't seem too happy. Looks like you're in their way. We own this land, so they ain't going any further. Oh, uh, you gonna live here all happily ever after, is that it? What's it to you? You can drop the act. Everyone knows you're Cornwall's nursemaid, so why don't you run on home and go wash his fat feet? What the hell did you just say? You better start running, you son of a bitch. Must have got it wrong, then. Apologies, boys. You know what? On second thoughts...
What? what? Ow. Uh, okay, that. Yeah, yeah I'm too, super good at duels. Fuck! Alright, take two, motherfuckers. It's time you guys are gonna get your ass kicked to dude. What are you doing here? This is private property. You're trespassing. Well, the boys at the railroad camp, they don't seem too happy. Looks like you're in their way. We own this land, so. Alright, motherfuckers. Take take three. Who are you? What are you doing here? Bitch! <laughs> Time's a charm. Who are you? What are you doing? Thank you. I shot you too. Lazy uh, bums. Uh, uh, drop the man's. Let's loot him. Fuck it. Property deed. This certifies that Ferdinand Newman is the owner of one acres of land as agreed. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. I have done as you have asked. How'd it go? Yeah. One deed to the property. They was very understanding. You got my money. Yes. I was just about to call it a day. Thank you. Hell yeah! Me and Mr. Cornwall go way back. <laughs> way back into the back of his skull. Guys, please. See, see, this is where you are dumbasses because this motherfucker had, these motherfuckers had volcanic pistols. Oh, he's just you know, plopped in the water. Sweet. Snake bite says I can put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list.
I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. Pick something up on your tab. Thanks again. Good luck to you. Thank you. A living legend right here. Somebody's had a few. You look pretty drunk, partner. <laughs> Hello, sirs. That all? Who's talking? Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> You're one strange feller sometimes, that's for sure. What is up, guys? And welcome back to motherfucking Red Dead Redemption 2. Arthur! We need to talk to you! Oh, fucking shit. What do you fucking want? I mean, I, I came over here specifically to do this mission, but that, that's beside the point. You might be interested in. I'm gonna like the sound of this. Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion at Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. It's a good point, off. A very good point. <laughs> all right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if you're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right, I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm gonna be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Oh, God. Right. Let's go. What the fuck? Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss. Why was my beard blonde? Apparently, he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan now? Oh, we're gonna send Karen. Hey, she's looking like my character online. And we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. It's a small bank in a little town. But not ugly. security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, follow me. All right, following you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, it's uh, Arthur. Yeah. You gotta sound like you're. Oh. Tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. <laughs> it's Bill, Arthur. It's Bill. We'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. 
Yeah, because they won't recognize you. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once he's got him distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. The we other day. Them and any customers who are feeling brave. The other day. That this is. Uh, man, right, they're not going to go today. I'm fucking worried. So, thinking this through. Rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's a genius of him. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. Uh, let's be clear, sir. I dealt with him. Thank you. Quick. Once we're in Valentine, I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course. In and out. Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Yeah, you're real confident. Whoa. But the music says otherwise. Oh, 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 okay. <sighs> Why am I actually tense for this, about this? Doggo! What the fuck are you looking at, Doggo? Get it! Get that whatever the fuck it is. Bill. 
Is it the lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, hmm. I want to see harlot. I want to see you drunk. Like I, I want to see you act drunk. The only one. You're a bunch of filthy sinners and the heartbreakers, Zolotia. Now where is he? You're ready. Get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Yep. Full confidence. Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real down. You don't know me. I'm stuck up in here. Not so goddamn stuck up last night. Oh, sorry. Just clean up. I've never seen this woman in my life. Get your goddamn right. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! No word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, oh, uh, that's my cue. Okay. Uh. Oh, you think we're here for fun? Open that goddamn vault! Open it! Don't be a dumbass. Needs to get a move on. Okay, okay. Just open the goddamn door. You got damn slow. Shut up, a bitch. Hurry up. Come on. himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Uh oh we're cracking yeah, the safes for playing stuffy. Alright, but you <laughs> better be quick. <laughs> You shut the hell up and stay still. Okay. Yes, I, I'm aware of this. I'm working on it, damn it. Well, he's got his fingers up. To notify when we've got all of them. Oh yeah, sure. I must be speedy. There's two. There's three. I'll go check the front. Oh shit. How's it looking there? Oh fuck, there's 
one right here. Told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. Okay, I gotta do this in first person because it's hard as shit to navigate around this room. Tell the bank dude I will shoot him in the face first if he fucking does anything. He's at the top of my shit list right now. And it's a real fucking short list. Okay, it t it helps me when I need to slow down. Hurry up. I heard, go on. Why am I taking so long to walk out of here? Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me loot this man's. We got the place oh, what? What? Okay, G game, game. Why am I walking so fucking slow? Arthur, this is not the time to... Not the time to chill. Yes, the horses are up there. Kablooey! I said kablooey, guys. Shut up. Not my horse, but whatever. Fuck it. Oh, fuck it. Is this what? A bell?
R really, guys? Fuck all y'all. Why did we stay there? What was the point? Oh shit, I got him. Be choo choo bitches. Fast and Furious Tokyo West. All right. I think we lost. Him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thanks. this is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp, and make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. This is down. Oh, right to the downs ranch. Hello, doggy. Pet, pet now. Do good, doggy. All right, I'm gonna go beat the shit out of your family. Um, stay here, buddy. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, aren't you? I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself, and don't you kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Well then. Real, real charming, Arthur. Real <laughs> charming, buddy.
So wait, was that the fourth? Was that the fourth money uh, thing? Because if it was, were those two missions like, can like, two missions in one? Holy shit! Okay then, I'll I'll definitely fucking take two thousand dollars for damn sure. All right, fuck yeah. Charles, it is. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Let's go kick somebody's ass. I don't know whose ass it's gonna be. But we're gonna go kick it. Where are we going? The Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. As soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. You good? Hold up a second! Oh. So, yeah, uh, where were we? Fear <laughs> not. He's just a cockroach in fancy <laughs> riches. When he gets into oh, nooks and fuck. crannies, the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Oh, I gotta go around back. Excuse, excuse me, sir. Someone got here first. Hmm. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Gone. Yet. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Mm. Let's take really a look around. Who wants me to take that hair pomade, huh? Oh, I can't carry any more of them. Okay, I'm going to the first person because. Big holy struggle. Shit. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Look, tracks. Come on. Oh, I'm not gonna read that. This is to certify. This is to certify that, as the holder of shares inclusive in the above company, subject to the provisions of 
Memoranda. I'm reading a thing. An articles of association thereof, and that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shares. Secret. Secret. Secretary. Fucking fuck. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Hmm. Get up. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? Pretty cool. I'm All a cool right. trekker right yeah. now. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Oh, fuck off. The kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally, sca comes himself into the best hotel in town. You know. Hold on, I'm sure you're gonna tell me, but hold on. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen them? <clears throat> We're, uh... We're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, you seen a strange sort of feller. Sort of formal. Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is Bofitta? Get out of here! Come in! Oh, oh, really, bitch? You knocked my fucking hat off. Oh, how do I punch again? Oh, that's how you punch. You wanna come at me? You stay there. That's not what I want to say. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite place. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, blah, 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 come on. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. Wait, this isn't the right way. Now stay with me, please. Ugly dugly. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. He 
least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses. And, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? <laughs> kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Hold on. Learn that much. Had to take care of that. How much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's a special talent, keeping fish on the line. It's guitar music, it's like the best. Gonna find you bitches. Where were the birds? I didn't see where the fucking birds were. I didn't see where the fucking birds were, my dude. He's mine. Let me 
take him, you get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Oh! Come on. He should have taken the money. <laughs> I'm a fool. You still have your holster on your gun? You have your holster on your gun. Of course. You okay? Yeah. Fine. Oh no, you just have a shotgun. Holy shit. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Rare rolling block rifle. I will definitely pick that up. Fuck yeah. Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery fella. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. All right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Thank you, horse. I don't want to walk all the way. Here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? <laughs> that was fine. So, who was they? They were bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual come down here from Oregon looking for a job at the universe. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles, you take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. This is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. Huh. Mission complete. Alright. I say we go do us some side missions. Well, we still got the time. sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? They didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. That wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. 
exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love for my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. D Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna go fuck him up, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm not. You looking for that fellow's wagon? Yes, I yes, I am. Thanks, man. What the fuck was that? Am I the only one that just started screaming? Fuck you guys! We're going home! Oh. Uh. Really, Galaxy? Well, at least I know you're sturdy as fuck. Fine then, fuck you. You good? Whoa, whoa. Do I have to kill him? Okay, you're good. Ah, uh, you know this shutter, don't you? Oh my. Well, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Ah, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, it'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Yeah. All right. Good deed. Yeah. 
a deed. Oh. Why was my gun out? I was right there at it. I had the money to pay it the fuck off. But no, my controller says fuck you. My hands tell me to fuck myself. Shut up. I know what I said. Hello? I don't even want to know where that money came from. All right, let's see. Yeah, can I go back to Valentine? I can, yeah! Right. Now, I'm gonna go do one more side mission. Oh, God, I love the rainstorms and the, the thunderstorms in this game. They're so fucking amazing. They're just, they're so amazing. Hello, sir. So, you're still alive. Uh, Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant. Although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks. Only buggers can't stand me. Uh, that is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? That might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> Mr. Mason, I'm borrowing your horse. Mustang. Come on. Keep moving. Yeah. To think, in the very near future, they'll all become cars. Get up. Quite the world we live in.
genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> How are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here. I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now for a few final checks. <laughs> That's Don't cool. I may be at this for some time. Emmett Granger photograph. Blanco Hernandez photograph. Well, Lily there's something the out here that's likely to eat me. There isn't, is there? Like Bell photograph. Bride photograph. Huh. Just say something if you see that herd of Mustangs running back at me. <laughs> you know, horses seem like a fine subject for you. You maybe think about documenting animal life of the farmyard variety from now on? <laughs> yes, you had me there. A wild horse is a different beast to his domesticated brother. Very good, very good. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys. Fuck. Yep. Yep. All right, guys. So, I think with that, I'm going to end this video here. Um, spec letter. I think that's going to do it for this episode. January 12th, 1894. Dear, my dear Leonard, it is only three days since you and your mother stood on the platform so dutifully until my train was out of sight. And already I feel compelled to write. How handsome you looked then. You must learn chastity young. And learn it well. There are truths a man of my upbringing finds it easier to set down than to speak, even to his son. I expect this is not easy for a boy to understand. Oh, it's for this to Lenny. Oh. Let's see how you're doing. So, what do you think of this place? Not bad. Nice to be by the water. Yeah, it'll do for now. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. Holy shit. You guys want to read that, you can't. I'll probably read it while editing, but yeah, I'm not, I am not reading all of that. You can pause it where you like. Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. There's another book. No, you know what? Fuck it. I want to see what that book is. I want to see what the book is. Swanson's Bible. Ha! Wow. Wow. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. 
Hi there, Arthur. How are you doing, Molly? Fine. Fed up of moving all the time. Yeah, just the way it is. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. You don't want to mess with a guy that fucks okay, danger. Girl.